Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in July and it is harvesting season. So we've got contracts to do. I've got to try to figure out how to get out of here. So is it... No, not what go right out of here. So yeah, we've got three contracts to do for wheat of 35, 113 and 132. So we start up north, do 132. Head down the road to 113. Then to the bottom out, 35, and then back up to the sell point at the farmer's market. And we've got a few fields to do as well. We've got rye to do, so we can do those contracts. Got a big old wheat contract on 92, and some other contracts we will do during. So, of course, it ain't gonna be as profitable as doing size contracts, but. Anyways, it's going to be better than doing, uh, what's it, hay, so, Oops. okay, how did we manage to get this in, I think we've got to go all the way to the right here, so, just try and judge this. There we go. There we go, a bit of squeeze. And there we go, we're out. So, that's out of the way. Yeah, we've got a grass field we can cut sometime this month. But at the moment, that's not going to be a priority for us. At the moment, it's getting these contracts done. So, we've got to head out of here, past our old yard area, up through there, around the ETA. But yeah, how much we're going to get from these contracts, I don't know, but some of these crops are quite profitable, so what I'm going to do is sell them off straight away, and then we'll get a nice decent profit out of it. In a way, it helps us test the combine, because remember, this is you second hand, it's got over 300 hours, 303 hours on it, so turn the gear off there. Our beacons on, just making sure. But yeah, I'm actually looking quite forward to it. Obviously, got the header that's leased out. Going to rack up some costs on it, and I'd be interested to see if we get any profit from this like, with the lease in that situation. But we'll see. So, anyways, we're gonna head to the field and we'll start doing the first harvest of the year. And there we go. Here we are. So let's head into the field here. I think maybe the old bird's a bit big. Let's maybe see if we could downgrade it a bit afterwards, but yeah, it's just old birds catching. Anyway, so let's get the header attached. Maybe help if we move this for as well. That will need this for a while, actually, but you don't know, so. There we go. Header attached. There it. And we are harvesting the wheat. Actually, the best thing to do be able to enable swath so then we can borrow that old pickup, that forest pickup that we used, what was it, from the dealership last year and that, when we did harvesting pretty much in our first season as a contractor. Because, yeah, I think I remember it was getting quite a bit of money from it, so I'll help cover any leasing costs or anything like that. But yeah, we're going to make very quick work with these contracts here. So once we get to the bigger fields like night 2 and that, it'll take a little bit longer, but overall, not too bad. So, I think anyways, we will start doing a little time ups here and see how far we can get into doing these free contracts here.
And there we go, we are done with the first bit of harvesting, so we've got a full trailload here of wheat from all three fields. But before we go and sell them or anything, we need to pick up the shrew here. Uh, yeah, first of all, I was thinking, yeah, sell the shrew. But no, we can keep this. And then we can use that to make some TMR for the cows we're gonna get soon. Because we've already got, what, the hay and silage. So why not add this to it? Add get some straw now. I'm gonna get quite a bit of straw from this as well. Obviously we're not feeding it or anything at the moment. I think we may end up having to feed it and pretty much dump this on our land. So this is borrowed oh, in ours, this is borrowed from the dealership. We pay two grand for the day and that or for the week and that, so that's looking good for us, and already, even though this is a massive body of, well, a massive body car, we're going to actually fill this up by the time we've done the first one, let alone any others, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, of course, you got the Unreal Capacity one as part of the TARDIS package that goes up to, what, 300,000 litres? But, yeah, we're not going to do that here, but... Tempted since we're almost full, so... This is going to be quite a bit of work to do. Maybe if we sell the grain and that, we get a silo in. Or if there's a cheap silo, we get that cheap old yard area bought back. I think we may have to, yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, we're looking at several trips alone from this, so... Head back up, yeah, the other, so... Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a singer there. I've also gone and bought a front wheel for this, see if this helps with the load, because... Yeah, coming into the land and that, was after the time lapse, Oh no, after the bit of recording, I was like, full wall coming here. Sort of slowing down to start approaching the bridge now. As along the road, all of a sudden, he just absolutely jackknifed. And I went into the drink here, so... Nope, we want to go the other way. Go around through four and that. And then after that we'll go and sell this. Obviously we won't complete the contract quite yet. Because obviously we still need to take the straw over. And that's going to be some more work in itself, so... Let's go see where we stand afterwards. And here we are, back where we've all started from, so... Yep, what I'm going to do is... Alright, now to buy this from the deer ship site, so bear with me. Well, as I was saying, now we can buy this plot back again. That's because we're going to put a silo in to store all of our straw in that. And not alone, this will accept our bells as well, so... There we go, it's a simple farm silo, it's pretty basic obviously, it's simple, hence the name. And I'm just going to whack it somewhere there. There we go. Worker has stopped. Ugh. Well, it means we've got to do, I'd rather do the straw first of all, get all that done, because I don't trust, yeah, the possibility of losing 
access to the fields. Is there like a semi trailer we can use? Thirty five thousand of the years. Yeah, I'm just looking at any other trailers we can use. Let's go something like that. Or even heck yeah, let's go with what we're currently using, the Trans 70. Yeah, we're gonna have to exchange this with the deer ship, but yeah, it's just it's, it's gonna be a lot of community back and forth otherwise. Especially to here and that out of all places. But anyways, we'll go do that. Do one more time out so get this all sorted. And then we'll see where we stand after we're done. So we've got the last bit of the shore here, 24 and a half thousand litres. I will shove that into the silo. So how much straw have we got? We got 279,000 litres of straw just from those three fields. And now let's sell the grain and we're gonna sell all of the wheat, so Let's see how much money we'll make from this. We're at 5200 currently. And that is nine grand, so not too bad. If you can use market, not really. Fine enough that trigger popped up. So yeah, anyways, we'll go to our contracts. 
We will complete those three. And we still have some more harvesting contracts to do, so we accept that one, do 92. And the two right fields are 49. And actually, no, wait a minute. Actually, what we should do is work has got the combine at 35. We should do these two, but we'll do those two in a bit. We'll do these ones for now. I'm not sure if we're going to get any straw from the rye, but definitely from the wheat, barley, and oats. So that's going to be more straw for us. I'm just going to stop pod straw now. Things like bedding and TMR. So E5 and like twos up here. Now she's looking at the cell points for everything. So the rise got to go to Pine Creek stores, which is the BGA basically. And the wheat at night twos will go actually fine enough to the forest market up here, so I think we'll do the wheat field. So yeah, what we will do is get the combine over and then we'll start doing it now. And there we are harvesting the wheat field, so I think we'll start making some make adjustments to the header, I think. Make some minor tweaks as we go along with the terrain in that. But yeah, this header, 10 meters, is making a huge difference. I don't think this would be as big as we would need. So we may get more combines in the future. You know, if we expand and grow the farming out. Just be careful not hitting the head of trader. There we go. Missing bits is on the edge, but we'll come back for those in the end and pick them up. But yeah, I think this is going to be extremely profitable for us. I do not sure now. It's going to make a huge difference with the TMR now. We'll have a more of a short base TMR, a bit of less quality then compared to adding more silage or even the additional off mineral feed. But It's one of those things, it's at the end of the day, at the moment, it's a priority. I think actually the cows can just go based on silage. And if it's just bulls breeding, I mean, the milk cows and ants, the Angus's, then technically we could just get away with hay and not need to do any of the silage work, but. I think the thing with this combine is, it is, I would say it's small with the tank capacity, it's just, the work we do requires several empties, especially this field here, I'm going to empty it a few times, so, I think what we do is headland and then just go up and down as we normally do, and I'm going the right way around, so then the spout is on the left to outside of the field, yeah, it's so still some more fields to be harvested, so we have a look here. So yeah, I've got 90. A couple was already being harvested by the farmers, that's fair enough. They want any contract workers coming in, I guess they had time to do it. That's going to be one of the things I think. What we'll do is, off camera, I will finish off a lot of these contracts, get them all done. And manage to include some clips of sale grain or that, or just complete the contract as we normally do. So, first of all, it will be the wheat on this field, and then we'll do the rye and sell them at the same time. Well, at least we're going to get quite a bit short just from this field alone. So, apart from 90, it's going to be one of the biggest fields we will be working on. This week, or at least this month, at least. Obviously, you're not waiting on for it. 
that contract on 88, that would be interesting one to do, potatoes, see if it's actually worth doing. Uh, I think the question is going to be is, can we get to the trailer before we are full? Oh, the over up ready. But yeah, I think with the over itself as well, we can go a bit less. I think that over length is based on, if you are those using a, what's it, a 13.8 year head or something like that. Okay, that's almost one full tank's worth, so I think we're definitely into this at least twice. Get three loose from this perhaps. So I'll at least fill half of the trailer up, I think. this so yeah what I'm gonna do is sort of finish all these contracts off as I said I'll include clips of us getting this done new selling complete contracts and that and it'll be interesting to see how much money we can make from these contracts are harvesting contracts worth it in general especially from the straw aspects I think yes if we're picking up straw and of course at the moment as well the economy is booming so hence what I'm getting such good prices for green at the moment, but that doesn't always can't guarantee that it will last. But yeah, so hey, mates, I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks perhaps next week in July 2nd. So, in July, who knows?
And there we go, so that is several contracts done. We've done a ton of harvesting contracts, I mean, I've lost track of how many did. I think we've done it over, what, like a, I think it overall took me like a six to eight hour stretch of doing it all. So if we have a look, we've still got the head release out, so yeah, that's almost five hours we've done straight on the header alone. I was not including transport and that, so that's like five hours alone, normal six. And then also did our old favourite some size contracts, got some decent money from that. And the straw. Let me tell you about the straw, that is a lot of money we've earned, so... We will go and return this today. So let's go and tab over to here, so... Currently we've got 61,000 years of straw in here. And that's just from this field here. So this was from this field and one other contract we did, one sort of fields. But we got a lot of straw, and I mean like almost 2 million liters of straw. So I think that's up pretty well with everything that I know going wrong way. So we need to go this way, hop across. So actually, let's quickly skip over to the side of the sec. As we were saying, so that was just when you just cut down the travel time, so... Yeah, the straw. We got a lot of straw, especially from, like, the Rhine, that... The Rhine, the Linsea, they produce a bit more straw than... I think from the wheat now. Could be because the yield age was, you get more... Grain per the... You get more the ridge, basically. From the, the Linsea and the Rhine, compared to... No wheat and barring that, which again that may reflect on the price of the grain itself. But yeah, so we'll put the last little bit in there. And we have a look. 1.936 million litres of straw. And we'll return to the dealership, may have to pay a late fee in that. Obviously, the two and a half grand we leased, obviously, to borrow this was obviously for yesterday. So, we may have to pay a bit of a late fee of a grand or so, which, in the grand scale of things, is right, not too bad. But, yeah, even around like 220 grand almost. Remember, it's still a pay the loan off, that is 475 grand we have to pay off. And obviously with the 10% interest on top of that, so that is what? 5.25? Just shy off 5.20? So we're not even halfway of paying off the loan, for pay off now. That's why I think the loan is going to be like a multi-year thing of paying off, but... It's got us where we are, we've got the farm going out, got all the equipment pretty much we need, so... So yeah, we've got the plow, cultivator, cedar, planter, lime effort, spreader, roller, the motor option as well, just switch out the actual roller attachments themselves, so... And yeah, really, the only thing we don't own is the header in that, which at the moment we're still leasing. I think costing us £600 a day, so... All in all, for a month of leasing that is... Well, two and a half grand is going to cost us and that, but... Two and a half grand ain't going to be too bad. Obviously, we've got a rape sea field ready to harvest in that, or one of them. I may wait till towards the end of the month to harvest that if we can afford. Not, not so much can afford to, but just the ability to pull it off. So, get this back here anyway. So, there we go, just prop this up. But yeah, what's our harvesting window like at the moment? So, really, we're looking at worst case scenario till no till Octoberish. Yeah, soybeans October, field beans October. So yeah, that's one, two, three, four months. So worst case scenario, that's ten grand off leasing. That is so. 
Is that a bad deal? Not really. Yeah, the hour fee's off one grand. Or is it like 700, whatever it is. It is a little bit steep in that, but. Hey, it's wear and tear and all that. And really, we should fill this up actually, so. You know what? Actually, let's do that. Let's do that now. We'll refill it in that. Also, really clean off as well, returning this equipment. But that's the thing, who actually cleans a rental? Who washes a rental? So, may actually leave that. So, ah, right, may have to go into access as a dealer. So, that is three grand, 3300. So, that's fine by us. So, what we need to do now is go back to the farm and transfer 3300 over to the dealership as a repair. That's you know what? Let's send the extra money over for fuel now so we don't have to do ourselves. So, say 200 quid, more than enough. And actually, you know what? The late fee as well. So, one grand for that. So yeah, that's a bit of a hit for us there, but you know what? It's worth it. Definitely worth borrowing this. With destroying that, it made light work of it, so we will just pop this over here, park it up some side. Drop the keys to the D-ship, because we need to do some mowing. We want to start mowing our own grass, get our own silage and that, so yeah, we'll drop the keys off, pick up the truck. Actually, no, one tractor, I think, so that's got lime in, so we'll grab that in a sec. So, yeah, I will drop the keys back and then we'll meet back at the farm. And there we go, that was a bit of a strain error on the old 650 there. Definitely needs to use 930 when we're using this for the lime, so. I think for now, we'll worry about putting the storage properly later on, not too fast on that. So let's just go and whack this here for now somewhere. And since we're here, we will top up the 650. Combine these fuel now, but it's fine for now. That's enough decent wear enough, so not too worried about it on the 930. Just making sure all of our equipment is topped up with fuel and obviously doesn't need too much maintenance. Obviously before we do any work now, so 300. Yeah, and that's the thing with having these like high horsepower tractors, especially the 930. That wears away quite quickly, yeah, it does. And of course, it will be, it's all second hand, right? So, we're not having new equipment in. So, yeah, you think you will get that, obviously, extra wearing out. But I think before doing mowing, we shall have one more look at the contracts. So, contracts and to use dealership. Nope, nothing really, just a manure spreader, which we don't really need. And for contracts, harvesting on field 12, that is right, small by 14 and 13 on the left there, so may do that one. Uh, just maybe. We'll wait for it for now, got other work to do, got our own farm to attend to. And that's the thing as being a contractor and a, and a farm owner, we've got to manage the balance between doing the contracts, get the income in, but as well attend to our own farm to make sure we get our own income. So, but I think we're going to do with the grass over here. Yeah, so, check it's 107 here. Ah, it's only 50% fertilized. And so is that one. So, actually. Can I be cheeky? 
and put a quick layer of fertilizer on. Or do you wonder? So I think I worked last time, didn't it, with the grass field? When it only said 50%. Of course, that time we did fully fertilize it, but for some reason it was even richer in half. But hey, this new army doing. Also got fertilizing over here to do, so that's another thing to do. But yeah, let's go and get us done and see where it stands. So yeah, that worked out actually quite well indeed, so actually I'm quite chuffed on that, so that is the field being filled fully fertilized. And why didn't we get a 100% yield bonus? I guess because it was an old meadow field and that perhaps, because we mulched it and all that, so hmm, not sure on that front, but well, my 8% is a little better, so. And we've got another color grass field. That is 98%. 19 places where I had been lined by the previous owner, but. You know what? That, I, can, I can live with that. Overall, get a good cut size from this, and. The goal's gonna be we'll, we'll put it into the bunker side clamp. We'll put it in the indoor one next to the source shed of our equipment. And I think what we'll do then with that is just stockpile it, keep on flattening it with our cuts off silage and that, or grass at 2B silage. And then come towards the end of the year round, well, if we get a cut now, we'll get another cut in September. So when we do November's cut, fake overfilled by then. It may do, you never know. It may get more grass fields than that, and I think that may be an option we do with the money from now is get grass fields in that and flip it so you know get a few cheeky cuts from it. We'll plow it, cultivate it and all that. And then we put a crop in and then sell it to the next owner. It'll surely that'll help with the value of the field in that so but who knows on that front, it's going to be quite difficult to say. And even if we look at grass fields and that in general. So let's have a look. So, really it's like 106, or about 40 or 55 years, or even both. Do one, two more contracts, and we get those. And that's pretty much. Not quite double, but about 60, 66%, so at least two thirds extra from this, so that's an option. Actually, what's in 52? So that's something we just harvested. It is owned by Mr. Powell, so hypothetically. Now nah, we won't be able to get both of these. But other grass fields. Actually, if we put grass on. So yeah, all of these are down near grass fields. That's 300 grand for those down there. Four hundred grand for that. That's, that's pretty steep, but I'm guessing it makes sense in that. 
any other decent size grass fields. Could buy a plot down there pretty much for a quarter of a mil. But again, that's just travel time, so so I think I think we could go up here, down and around, cut through Stonebridge Farm perhaps, but again that's just transport. So I'm thinking that, that, or this. Or one of these two and this one over here, so yeah, I'm not sure on that. Actually, what is the fertilizing like on those non-existent on that one? And similar with that one, I think. Yeah, so I think I get a massive yieldage out of it, but hey, something's burning than nothing on that front, so who knows? But anyways, we will finish this off, get this all cut, and then we'll see where it sounds afterwards. And there we go, so that is this all neatly rowed up. Yeah, you always get those little couple of patches here and there where we clip the windrower or slightly misjudge or like with steering with the tractor. Obviously, yeah, we've got GPS and that on this, but we don't have like anything like ag steering or anything that could, you know, just program it into the computer, give it a set of coordinates to follow. Actually, we need to place this over. Somewhere. 
may put it back in storage, may keep it out. Depends on if we're not good for another grass field. I think if we do that, it will be in the next episode, we'll make that choice. So I think, yes, this will come out. Recording this on Wednesday, so this will be out Thursday. So the following episode will be Friday or over the weekend, I think. Most likely Friday, if I can get some double uploads up. But if not, the final episode will be on Saturday and we'll find out whether or not we decide to get a new field or not. But yeah, I'll be smashing out Court Farms lately. But I need to focus back on Bay Spring and No Man's Land. Miss playing those maps like No Man's Land. I'll say we've got. Yeah, it's one of those things I'll like get like 100 episodes out of it. But I think if we get. I think we're on 40. Yeah, we're on 44 at the moment. Episode should be just coming out now as of recording this, so yeah, New Man's Land has got bare minimum 10 episodes left. I want to go for 75 episodes at least, go for a bit of a record breaking Let's Play series. With Court Farms, Court Farm, not Court Farms, I know. I don't know, I want to see where we go from this. Obviously, sorry, as a contract, so we're still doing contracts and that's going to be our side hustle and that in between harvests and that is just do contracts. Things like getting the cows in as well. Maybe get them over towards winter and that perhaps. Or at least towards the fall and that I think. At the moment we can't really focus on that at the moment so. But I think we've got plenty of straw. I'm interested to see how much size we can get from this, so... And as we almost got a full trailer load here, so... That's 42,000 litres, and that was from going down and halfway back up, so... Ooh, I'd say, if I had a guess, 200, 250,000 perhaps, if we're lucky. At least 200,000. But yeah, best time sell silage ain't until December, into January and February, so... I'm in a rush to get this fermented and sold. We've got plenty of money to cover ourselves for now, so... But yeah, this is where we're going to be putting into here, so... Decently sized. Shove it right at the back, hopefully it shouldn't leak out or anything. And the leak through the gaps in the walls at the bottom and out. Oof. Bit tight. There we go. So I think if you just do big old piles first of all. And then we can work out getting all squashed afterwards, so... Even not right for our game school here, so... Yeah, we'll get a Steffi filled to, to brim. Especially if we go with another field in that, so... Again, that's going to be an option for us. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today, so yeah, next time... Start looking at field expansion, perhaps. Have a little think about it, and we'll come a decision then. But as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to trying yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, thanks for watching. But for now, this is Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.